What's up everyone, Brass Holder here. And today I am going to go over my general purpose rifle. This is a 13.7 pin and welded AR-15. And we'll start from the tip to the butt. We have up front the Dead Air Sandman K. And to make it the legal 16 inch, so I don't have to SBR, it is a... Uh, we're in the Knox by Sons of Liberty Gunworks, which will bring a 13.7 up to the legal 16 inch without getting a tax stamp for that. Too. The barrel that we have is going to be a Roscoe Purebred 13.7 stainless steel barrel. Now one of the things I've had lately with these uh, Roscoe barrels is problems with the gas ports. This one was wide open. I have two others that I had problems with there being burrs and the ports and not gassing properly so I had to go in and clean that out. This one I had to fumble around with a buffer to keep it from being over gassed and I finally settled on the H3 silent capture recoil spring. This one is I think the Sylvan, yeah Sylvan Arms that's in here. Now the handguard I chose is the Midwest Industries slimline and this is a 12.65 inch handguard which almost goes to the end i don't really like bumping it all the way to the end because the handguard gets hot but this one already gets hot enough after a couple mags this thing really will rip your hand up so you got to wear gloves for sure the lower i have it on is a sons of liberty gunworks l9 and i have the geisley Super dynamic enhanced trigger in here with a Magpul K2 grip and a Magpul Noveski Ambi safety. And we are rocking the uh, Brownells titanium nitride bull carry group with a primary arms micro dot on a LaRue tactical. Uh, mount and we are also using the BCM ambidextrous charging handle and carrying on the end here the very end we have the B5 Bravo stock which I like a lot sometimes when you uh, bag it uh, the bag will hit the uh, lever and your stock will go in while you're shooting but you just have to be careful and on that I have the blue force gear Vickers combat sling. Overall, this has been a pretty reliable rifle after I got the gas situation worked out. And I don't have any complaints whatsoever. It is a heavy little beast though. For a 13.7 rifle, it's heavier than my 18 inch DMR rifle. So I, I think it's just the, the profile of the barrel that makes it heavier. Who knows? But anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you next time.